morning. A little Colossians in the morning. We'll always pray for you and give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and your love for all of God's people, which come from your competent hope of what God has reserved for you in heaven. You have had this expectation ever since you first heard the truth of the good news, the same good news that came to you is going out all over the world. It is bearing fruit everywhere by changing lives just as it changed your lives from the day you first heard and understood the truth about God's wonderful grace. You learned about the good news from Epaphras, our beloved co-worker. He is Christ's faithful servant and he is helping us on your behalf. He has told us about the love for others that the Holy Spirit has given you. So we have not stopped praying for you since we have first heard about you. We ask God to give you complete knowledge of his will and to give you spiritual wisdom and of spiritual wisdom and understanding. Then the way you live will always honor and please the Lord and your lives will produce every kind of good fruit. All the while, you will grow as you learn to know God better and better. We also pray that you'll be strengthened with all his glorious power so you will have all the endurance and patience you need. May you be filled with joy, always thanking the Father. He has enabled you to share in the inheritance that belongs to his people. Who live in the light for he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son who purchased our freedom and forgave our sins Christ is the visible image of the invisible God he existed before anything was created in the supreme over all creation for through him God created everything in the heavenly realms and on earth and he made the things we can see and the things we can't see, such as thrones and kingdoms and rulers, authorities and the unseen world. Everything was created through him and for him. He existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. Christ is also the head of the church, which is his body. He is the beginning, supreme over all who rise from the dead. So he is first in everything for God, and all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ. And through him, God reconciled everything to himself. He made peace with everything in heaven and on earth by means of Christ's blood on the cross. This includes you, who were once far away from God. You were his enemies separated from him by your evil thoughts and actions. Yet now he has reconciled, reconciled you to himself through the death of Christ in his physical body. As a result, he has brought you into his own presence and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. But you must continue to believe this truth and stand firmly in it. Don't drift away for the assurance you received when you from the assurance you received when you first heard the good news. The good news has been preached all over the world and I, Paul, have been appointed as God's servant to proclaim it. In Jesus' mighty name, lift up the reader of this word. Let them hear your word, Father, and let them feel your presence. Jesus, let them come near to you. Let them grow in God and think of others before they think of themselves. Jesus' mighty name, have a blessed day. Amen.